This behind me is Brand Castle, also known as Dracula's Castle, and this is the most visited site in the entire Transylvania region. But when you look at this place online, you also see words like small, crowded, and overrated. But then we heard about Peles Castle, which is supposed to be one of Europe's most beautiful castles. And today, we're gonna show you both so you can see for yourself which one is Transylvania's most epic castle. We just made it. We ready would be busy, but this is crazy. It's like 10 a.m. and there's a huge line to get in. They also have like the skip the line option, but that's sold out for like two weeks. So. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> oh well. So before we go in, there's a couple of things that you need to know about Dracula. Here's what we've learned. I'm going to explain it like briefly. There are basically two Draculas, one historical and one fictional. And the historical, he was obviously real and he was named Vlad the Impaler and he ruled a part of Romania in the 1400s. But he was super evil, so evil that in Romania back then, like he was uh, he was also like nicknamed like Vlad uh, Dracul and Dracul in Romanian means devil. And he was, I, I can't even like get into details of like how mean he was, but like he hated the Ottomans and anyone who like committed a crime, like the punishments that he did were like really, really intense. I'll spare you the details, but he never lived here. He lived in Bucharest and the ruins of his castle are actually in Bucharest. So he is not like really associated with this castle at all, but he may have inspired fictional Dracula. So fictional Dracula, also known as Count Dracula, was first introduced to the world in the 1850s by Bram Stoker, an Irish novelist. He apparently based Count Dracula's castle on Bram Castle, but those details are also kind of sketchy. They don't know that for sure. So even the literary Dracula may have no association with Bram Castle, but they definitely play on it, even though the details are sketchy. There's also a third Dracula, who I haven't mentioned yet, who you may know, and that's Count Chocula. And that is my favorite Dracula. <laughs> like busy and like organized like you have to follow a certain path around let's go check it out Why? <laughs> so you put under this door. Uh, oh, I don't. <laughs> of course. That literally never happens. With your So we're gonna have a quick lunch, even though we ordered too much, we'll try to make it quick. And then we're off to what might be the most beautiful castle in all of Europe, Fetish Castle. It's an hour and a half drive, but I'm super excited to get there. It's supposed to be awesome. Uh, no, 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 no. 100 meters, one left is parking, 900 meters, all. Short delay, I pay here for the parking. Short delay. 30? Yes. I can do card? Only cash. Only cash. We made it to famous Palace Castle. Well, really, we made it to the parking lot, and now we have like a half hour walk up to the castle through this beautiful forest. I might have didn't want to be on the camera right now because she's on high alert for bears. There are a lot of bears here. I'm not crazy. There's a lot of bears in Romania. She's crazy. This place is so beautiful. As you walk out of the forest, this massive castle just appears in front of you. You guys are not going to believe this place. It's so, so pretty. So 
we just entered Pelis Castle. This castle is a little bit different. It wasn't used to like protect anything. It was built as the summer home for the last king of Romania. It is massive, incredibly detailed. Like you walk up a red carpet to get to this like reception hall, and it is amazing. Like there's details on top of details. I've never seen anything like it. This definitely feels like a castle. This is so over the top. This is crazy. This place is such a different experience. Like every room you walk in, it's like, oh wow, <laughs> there's so much stuff going on. There's knights and weapons, and it's just it's crazy. incredible. Yeah. It for sure feels like a castle. This is a real castle. Imagine being invited to eat here. I'll be like, they're not invited to my house. <laughs> Better bring something better than a potato salad. So we thought we could go to the upper floor, but you have to pay extra 50 lei or like $10. And we tried to pay, but we were too late. So we won't be able to see the entrance. Sorry that we can't show you. But if you come, just know that 50 lei for the bottom floor, 50 lei for the second floor. If you want to see it all, There's it's a third 100. Floor. It's 150 for everything. Oh, third floor, 150 for everything, says Mr. G. It's 30 bucks. It's expensive. It's very fancy. I mean, it's very beautiful, but it's not cheap. Now we go for drinks with the castle view. I save money for cappuccinos. Exactly. Don't pay the whole thing. <laughs> and then have drinks after. You can see it from the outside. So the restaurant in front of the castle was super busy, so we found this lovely restaurant instead and we're gonna have dinner here. And today was super fun. Let us know in the comments which castle would you guys rather visit. For us, I think it's pretty obvious which one was our favorite. Pelos Castle. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our Romania travel series that I'm gonna link here or here. I'm not really sure, but make sure to check that out next. And we'll see you guys in the next video. We're going on one of the most famous drives in the world is here in Romania. And we're gonna do that tomorrow. We can't wait to share it with you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.